Hi, I'm Carl. I'm a small church pastor. And in today's how to video, I'm going to walk you through live on the screen in front of me, how to set up an online bulletin using Google Docs. We already did a how to video on how to do that with Linktree, but Linktree has some limitations. Namely, it has to have a link in order for you to put it up there. It has to be something online already. With Google Docs, you can put anything in that you want. You can put a photo in, you can put a video in, or you can simply put text in of any type that you want. So we're going to show you how to do it in a bare, basic, simple way today, and then you can add new ideas and you can play with things later on once you have the basics down. So first thing you need to do is you need to set up a Google account. If you don't have a Google account yet, you need to do that. If you have Gmail, you have a Google account, so you're good to go. Then go to the Google search bar and you can find Google Docs in one of two ways. Up in the right hand corner here at the Google Apps menu, click on that, scroll down and click on the Docs thing here. Or just put Google Docs into the search bar and you're good to go. Hit enter and it'll bring it up. You click on it and now you're going to be in Google Docs. It's that simple to get to Google Docs. Now, when you get in Google Docs, there are other options. You can do Google Sheets, which is data spreadsheets. You can do Google Slides, which is photos like a PowerPoint presentation that you can put in there and share it with others. You can do Google Forms like a registration form, a sign up form, a follow up form, a survey, all kinds of things are there in Google Forms, all of it for free. But today we're going to do the bare bones Google Docs. So let's go back there and we're going to click on the personal go to Google Docs. It's going to come up and it's going to look very familiar. If you've used Microsoft Word, it's going to look real familiar really soon. Before you get there, though, it's going to give you an opportunity for templates. Later on, as you work this, you may want to check out the brochure thing here because that's really ideal for bulletins, but it's a little more complicated and I want to go bare bones today. So we're going to go with a blank document. We're going to click on it here. And when the blank document comes up, this is where it's going to look familiar. Microsoft Word. They basically copied exactly the same thing so that it looks familiar to everybody. But doesn't that look real familiar for anyone who's been on Microsoft Word, that entire top menu bar? Yeah, that's done on purpose. So what do we want to do? First thing you want to do is title it. So up here, click where it says Untitled Document, and let's give it the title of Sunday's Bulletin. One of the interesting advantages of creating something on Google Docs is you don't need to create a new bulletin with a new date for every Sunday. You can create a single document that says Sunday's Bulletin or our church bulletin with your church name in it, whatever you want. Keep that same link and simply keep updating it and just tell people any Sunday you want or any day during the week that you want. You can go to this link and we will have updated it regularly for each Sunday as time goes along. So it's really simple. You just cut and paste and replace things as you go along. But the first thing you're probably going to want to do is give it a, a good looking header. So I'm going to insert, go up to insert, click on image, upload from computer. And we're going to put in our header that we use for our church. And it's it goes in there and it's that simple. You just insert your photo from wherever you've got it. Now we're going to want to add some uh, type. You can either just type it in with your hands. You don't want to watch me do all of that right now. So I'm going to go to a document that I already created in Word. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to add it here, copy and paste it in. So now I've got a, now I've got some uh, text in there, but I want to break up the text with some images. This one here says welcome, but it also says, hey, we're going to have this new series or we're in the middle of this Bible study series called One House, where we're actually this time going through the book of Ephesians together. So let's put the image in there so that it looks nice. So I'm going to click down here. I'm going to again go up to insert, image, upload from computers, and I'm going to find the image that goes with that Bible study series right there. Double click on it and it drops right into the document. That easy. Next thing I put there was about our online Bible study. I'm doing a Bible study right now on how to read the Bible. So let's add the image for that. We're going to go insert, image, upload. I know it's repetition, but even in a video, a little repetition can help, right? Double click on the image and it goes in there. Now, one of the advantages of having an online bulletin as opposed to a printed bulletin is that an online bulletin can have links. So in what I already put up here, I refer to a couple links. You can, it says here, go to the Bible study tab on our website. So I'm going to highlight the words Bible study. I'm now going to go up to the where we have our Bible study online. I'm going to copy from here, right click, copy and bring it in. If you ever add, whenever you add a link, you don't want to type it in yourself. Copy and paste it over so you've got it all, because if you miss one dash, one dot, it's not going to work. 
you right click on that, hit link, you right click again, hit paste, hit apply. And now anybody who clicks on that will go to the Bible study tab that I got it from. This also says you can watch it on the YouTube channel also. So let's add that highlight YouTube channel, go to the YouTube channel, copy and paste the URL, go back to there, right click, add the link, right click again, paste it and apply. So now I've got two links. You can do the same thing with photos. You can add videos. As you learn how to do it, you can add all kinds of things. Again, if you know how to do Microsoft Word, you know how to do this. Or if you've got somebody in your church who does, you can show them this and they can do it for you. But right now, as it says up here, this is private only to me, top right corner, right? Because I haven't shared it yet. So how do I share it? Click on the share button. And when share comes up, it gives us a couple really interesting options. First option that it gives us is right here where it says add people in groups. You see that right there? I can put in there any um, any email address that I want to. So if I've got a worship director that, and I want them to add something to it or the kid ministry director or, uh, or the person overseeing our women's ministries, whatever, if I've got someone on the team and I want them to add something to it, I just put their email address in there. It sends the document to them and they can edit it and add their own stuff. So it's pretty, pretty clean. But what all I want to do right now is I want to get my link so that I can send it to others. So I'm just going to go down here, click on copy link right here. It says right there, link copied. And now I have a link and I can send this to anybody. And anybody who watches that link will see what I just created here. Now, as time goes on, you learn more things, you add more stuff, you can make it personalized to you. But at this point, I can take that link, I can put it on my Facebook page. I can put that link on my Twitter feed. I can put that link in an email that I send out to my congregation members. I can put it on our church website. I can put it on our link tree. I can put it anywhere that I want to. And anybody who clicks on that link will go to this document and will see whatever I have on there. And if tomorrow I change the content on this and an hour later somebody clicks on that link, they will see what I updated it to be tomorrow. So it's an ongoing updatable bulletin that anybody can access as long as you send them the link. If you like more how-to videos on how to do these things, I encourage you to subscribe. We've got a lot more coming. We've already got a few that we've created already, all kinds of different ideas. If you would also have an idea of how to do something that you don't know, if we can figure it out, we'll create a how-to video on it. But if you subscribe, you'll actually get these how-to videos four days earlier than the general public. So we encourage you to do that. Hope we can provide some things that will help you in your church. Thanks. We'll see you next time.